If you're after a career with endless opportunities, think. Opportunity, endless. That's just bad English, though. It's a play on words. An artistic play on words. Read between the lines and you will find inspiration. Aspiration. Success. These lines lead to success. It's a design tool used to influence the subconscious. I suppose I did feel a bit aspired when I saw it at first. Me too. If this doesn't bring business back to Darwin, nothing will. You're right. It's perfect. What do you want? Oh, uh, is Kenneth around? What do you want him for? Oh, uh, I just arranged to speak with him today. He said he was going to be around. He's not in at the moment. I said he's not in. Well, I can quite clearly hear him. Who are you? Oh, I'm June. I'm the government liaison officer. Hey, I know who you are. You do? Well, then why don't you let me go then? You're not taking our land. I'm not trying to take your land from you. You're not? No. Hey, uh, Kenneth, you inside? Maybe. Oh, awesome, mate. You mind if you uh, come outside so we can have a chat? Oh. Hey, Charlotte, you're here. Great. She's the boss, you know. Ah. Oh. Come in, I'll put the kettle on. Well, mate, what do you got for us today? Oh. Same as yesterday. Just trying to get all of Chukaburra signed off. You it's Chukaburra, mate. Chukaburra. Right, yes. Sorry about that. Signed off on what? On um, gas explorations in the area. No. No gas, no way. I know this sounds scary, but I assure you, Sunshine has a spotless track record. Of spilling thousands of gallons of oil in the Darwin Harbour? Yeah. Uranium leaks in Kakadu? Or PFAS in the Catherine River? Hey, PFAS wasn't us. I don't care. Natural resources come from the ground and they should stay there. I mean, that's a good idea, don't get me wrong, but that's a surefire way of stalling the economy. I don't care about the economy. I care about being able to drink the water that sits in my dam. To not get constant nosebleeds, headaches, cancer. Hey, there haven't been any scientific studies proving fracking causes cancer. Tell me, mate, did the aliens put you up to this? Uncle, not now. Look, the aliens did not put me up to this. <sighs> This, this is my job and I'm trying to get you the best deal possible because whether you like it or not, this is going to happen. Well, I'm not signing off on anything, ever. And you can't do anything without our approval. This is our land. Mm. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. What absolute and utter nonsense. Uh, what? Give me that. If you want something done fast around here, you've got to do it yourself. Wait, uh, w what are you doing? Signing away Chukabara. But you can't do that. I just did. And if anyone questions this, it's your word against a madman's. I'm not going to do it. I, I can't lie. You're not lying. You're doing your job. It's a simple question, mate. Did you or did you not get paid off by the federal government to bring back fracking? That decision was made by the Chief Minister and the Chief Minister alone. I think we owe him a bit more recognition than to infer he's incapable of making his own decisions. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> I believe we now have a question from Charlotte. Good evening, Chief Minister. My name is Charlotte. I'm visiting my uncle out in Chukabara Station. 
We received this letter yesterday asking us to leave our land. Not only did we not sign anything, I wasn't made aware of the decision to take our land away from us. I hope this is some sort of mistake. Can I see the letter? Yeah, I can answer that. Charlotte, you said you live with your uncle, is that correct? I'm visiting from interstate, but yes. Well, I have it here that he's signed away all rights to access his land for the purposes of gas exploration. He didn't. He couldn't. I was there. Yes, I'm aware. But he hasn't mentioned anything about signing this contract? Maybe he did it while you weren't at home. He wouldn't have signed something like this. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like you've had a change of heart and are trying to reverse a deal. That isn't how it works, sweetie. It's signed. Chukabara is now the property of Sunshine NREC. No. I'm telling you it's impossible for him to have signed this. Uh, I don't know anything about this particular matter. <sighs> Ingrid. I'm not sure I like how fast this whole fracking thing is going. I mean, it, it feels like it, it's starting to get out of control. That's what tripped you up? First Barry, and then this Charlotte girl. I mean, it feels like something maybe we shouldn't get involved with. What? Or at least slow down the trade deal with Sunshine. Something's not right if what they're saying adds up. Then it won't. Your government will collapse. My government? I doubt that. <laughs>